Hello YouTube and today I'm going to talk about the different types of precipitation and clouds, how they form. So the first type we're going to talk about, excuse my horrible homemade white bird here, is frontal lifting or cyclonic precipitation. So this occurs when a cold and warm front collide. In this example, yes, let's use a stationary front as the cold front. So little dude here getting ready to fight, little sword. And then we'll have a warm front. So what happens is the warm front collides with the cold front and the air is kind of forced upwards so it as it gets farther up because you know farther up you go further it gets the air cools condenses and eventually kind of forms clouds usually a big sign of this type of precipitation is that right before you get the rain there'll be a a shift in temperature so like it'll suddenly get really humid and then it'll start to rain i know that i've gotten a lot of that around where i live another type is orographic precipitation or i guess relief so what happens when moist air is forced over a topographic barrier such as a mountain or a mountain range Let's draw a little mountain here. So the air, it's forced to go up, obviously, as in our last example. As it gets, this is way too high. So as it gets farther up, it starts to cool, and it starts to condense. And eventually, it just turns into clouds and areas uh, in a around a topographic barrier on this side usually get a lot of precipitation or any moisture falling from the sky. So let's kind of imagine this split in two. So over here there's a lot of vegetation. Lots of trees, lots of everything. Beautiful. But over here there's something known as a vein shadow. Or, I guess, dry shadows, I sometimes like to call it. Uh, what happens is, a lot of this area would mostly be desert. Because no clouds ever make it really over here. And no precipitation usually occurs. Or at least if it does, it's very, very rare. I like to remember this by thinking that the air is kind of just forced to go up and then kind of just relieves itself and rains, precipitates, or snows, I guess. So, relief precipitation. The third type is convectional, which is also kind of cool. It doesn't have a synonym, I don't think. So what happens is, beautiful sun. Uh, so, at the Earth's surface, there's a hot spot, which is caused by unequal heating at on the Earth's surface. So what kind of happens is, um, air will come into contact with this hot spot, and, well, it makes it warmer, and the warm air rises, and eventually, as it goes up and up, end up as seen in all of these it cools condenses and forms clouds and what's really cool is that these clouds grow vertically which really from a side view looks really awesome although I couldn't find any actual pictures for this video um, so that's really uh, the three types of clouds, how they form, that I know of. Um, but I guess in the comments, tell me what your favorite type is. I know mine is definitely frontal or cyclonic because it looks really cool. 
So my dogs are calling me. Have a good night. Uh, I assume this I.